Well, hey, Journey, it's nice to be with you again. Hope you're having a great day and maybe even enjoying family, uh, maybe your kids if you got them, maybe it's your grandkids. And speaking of family, of course, we talked about the, that this last Sunday as Paul would bring it up in that Ephesians passage that we read. And he referenced one of the commandments. It was honor your father and mother. Of course, these commandments were found back originally in Exodus chapter 20. And honoring your father and mother um, came right in the middle of this top 10 list that God put together. It came in at number five, very notably above some really important ones, such as do not murder, commit adultery, don't steal. Honoring your father and mother turns out was a really important idea to God. And it wasn't just so that mom and dad would get all the respect that they deserve, which might be pretty important. But it was also really so that his people, the Israelites, they would keep the most important thing in their life, the most important thing. That commandment in Exodus chapter 20, it's in verse 12. It says this, honor your father and mother, and then you will live a long, full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. And now, of course, the land refers to the promised land that God was leading his people to. And the deal with that land was, of course, that they were promised it and they would enter it. They would live in it. But of course, the deal was that if they decided they no longer wanted to follow God and they began to follow or serve other things, maybe idols, well, then they would be kicked out. They would be cut off from the land, meaning that they would have to go without God's blessing, go without his presence, go without being physically in the land. And so this commandment to honor your father and mother ensured not only that kids would respect and submit, like we talked about on Sunday, to their parents, but also that parents would always be reminded of what the most important thing is in life. I think that as parents, or just people in general, can so easily get caught up in the monotony of things and really lose sight of what should be most important in our life. I mean, in the monotony of maybe changing diapers, raising kids, maybe it's the busyness of work or life or taking care of the housework, or maybe it's running kids from all of their different activities going from here to there constantly. Wow, we so often can lose sight of what's really important. We just sort of get caught up in the day-to-day -day or the here and now. But God, of course, reminds us to keep the most important thing, the most important thing, to serve God, to follow him. In fact, I'm reminded of Joshua. Joshua would actually lead the people into the promised land. And after they sort of settle into the land and they kind of get into maybe a little bit of a rhythm, they establish a, a normalcy to life there in the land. At the end of the book of Joshua, in Joshua chapter 24, Joshua would remind the people of the most important thing, really the, uh, the first commandment, which was to make God your number one priority. Nothing comes above him. And so Joshua gives that sort of famous line in verse 15 where he says, Hey, listen, you've got to decide who you're going to serve in your life. Who's your number one? And Joshua says, of course, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. What have you decided for your family, for your house? for your life. Who is your number one? And what is your priority? 
you know, in a time like this where sort of the normal routines to life have kind of been interrupted, we've got an opportunity maybe to establish some new priorities. Hope you'll do that for you and your family and your life and hope you'll be blessed today. Thank you for being such a blessing to us, to Journey, uh, the church. So many of you, we've been getting some great feedback just of comments um, and also your giving. Man, you guys have been awesome. Thank you for your generosity and allowing us to continue doing this.